guys we are inside leonardo ai and the question that we are gonna try to figure out today is how consistent is the character reference feature inside leonardo ai so you see most of the people using leonardo ai actually want the character reference feature because they want to make stories out of it so they pretty much need the main character to stay consistent throughout their stories or the videos and you see i have been trying it out lately a lot and these are my pictures that i generated from this character reference feature and these are pretty amazing i would say so let me show you what my actual picture is like you see this is my actual picture and here the hairstyle is nothing like what i have but anyways that's the creativity of leonardo ai and uh, once you find something good you can save it it gives you more than like you see eight generation at once in the pro plan which i'm using and you can see here i have some 56778 tokens left that's quite a lot and i have to use it so i'm using it like this trying it out all of the stuff that i can so if i go back over here it's pretty easy to use the character reference feature so let us start by doing that so I'll click over here. So the preset I have selected is the cinematic Kino. If you are on the Leonardo Phoenix, you will be not able to use the this one, the character reference feature. So there are other styles as well, other features as well. The pose to image, text to image input. So anyways, we are gonna go with the character reference. You see, let's select confirm. And now you'll have to select the image as an input so here's triple h <laughs> and let me know down in the comments who this is so i'll select my picture right now click on confirm so now we have the image loaded so i want the contrast to be actually high the image aspect ratio should be i want it to be like vertical so let's say this one this mobile and the number of images four okay let's go to the advanced settings so no negative prompt i'll just pass this one anyways let's come back and uh, let me type a prompt so the strength i want is high actually so over here let's say i want my character to be a barista in a coffee shop with a smiling face so i'm gonna click on generate and it's gonna consume 16 tokens it doesn't take a lot to generate and it's usually a matter of seconds but i'll be back and guys here we have it let me show you the pictures actually so you see this is the original image have a good look at it because we are gonna go back to these generated images you see this one is a good generation and let's see the next one this one has something crazy going on in the beard but anyways there are more to see this one looks quite uh, closer to what i actually look like and let's see the last one okay somehow it's not showing me the last one it's sort of giving me this loading sign over here so this one also looks good now the thing that is different that i'm gonna do this time is that i'm going to use this feature over here have a good look at this one again as well it's right next to the generate button and once you click on it you'll actually get these four features which is the new random prompt you can generate a random prompt with ai improve prompt now i can also improve my existing prompt with ai definitely and i'm going to use this one i haven't used this edit with ai but uh, okay so i'll use the improve prompt now what's it going to do for us so this is what it made for us a detailed prompt so the description goes like a cheerfully brewing barista every feature exudes warmth amidst the hustle and bustle of the coffee shop so what i have seen is that if you want multiple people in a picture in a generation actually 
it uh, doesn't do that for you quite effectively or you'd uh, have to put a lot of effort into prompting to get that right but even then i think it's not as you would like because you would want that with minimal prompting so it goes like so genuine smile lines crinkling around the effervescent eyes hands expertly crafting intricate latte art so this is what we can expect from this prompt i'm gonna go ahead and click on generate now these characters have been quite consistent with the actual image let's see what the next ones look like because i didn't change the styles over here and they are pretty much the same but i just added the improve with ai feature so you see the character is almost the same just like here let me zoom in a bit so this was how we started off and with the improve prompt this still looks the same but these pictures obviously have a lot of depth in these and the face is more accurate i would say so if you have a pro plan you should definitely use this feature which is improve prompt and uh, it's going to not only improve your prompt add a lot of depth to your character and make it look more close to your reference image so if you see this one this one already looks good this was the original image we started off with this is the next one also also reasonable so all of these look pretty well so so guys the conclusion here is that these features are pretty interesting in leonardo ai and if you are into ai art generation so you definitely shouldn't miss out on this and anyways specifically talking about the character reference feature it's pretty interesting pretty accurate in leonardo ai you see all these ai images i generated with just one picture of myself you see the these generated images look quite like my face and it's pretty interesting to use this feature and i would also urge you to try using this one and anyways right now on the video you would be seeing two videos actually that i created which would be relevant to your liking and uh, you should also consider subscribing to the channel and before you go let me know down in the comments what's your best feature in leonardo ai which one has been the most effective for you or which one you like the most